Thanks for checking out Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today's episode, I'm going to be checking out a beer by Block 15 Brewing, which is out of Corvallis, Oregon. Um, and the beer I have today is called Sticky Hands. It's an Imperial IPA. Now, this is a beer that they release different variations of a lot, um, and they don't actually bottle all that much. They're a very small brewery. I believe they're one of uh, what's called like a neighborhood brewery. They don't serve like a very large section of Oregon. I was able to get this because my mother-in-law, Dawn Bowling, thank you very much, Dawn, uh, was my beer mule. She went out and visited uh, Oregon, and she brought this back for me by request. I had a version of this beer as my 1,000th beer I've ever had. Yes, I do track my beer on an Excel spreadsheet. I'm a beer nerd like that. I'm what people call a ticker, but hey, it's fun. So this was my 1,000th beer, a iteration of it. What they do is every other month they put out a... Um, somehow changed version, a different iteration, and then in the months in between they put out like a base version apparently. So uh, not quite sure what this one's going to taste like, if it will even taste remotely like the one I had before, but interested to find out. Uh, and the alcohol by volume is 8.1%. As you can see, it's Sticky Hands uh, by Block 15. Pretty cool. There's the hands with the hops, all that. Uh, the name Sticky Hands would say to me, uh, it's going to be real, like real chewy, sticky, resinous, you know, that kind of stuff, which all things I like. Oh my gosh. Yeah. As soon as I pop that off, I'm just smelling awesome citrusy, dank hop aroma. So this is already seeming like it's going to be a winner in my opinion. All right. So let me go ahead. Very big head to it. Uh, very orange, but very cloudy. Um, doesn't look like, I, I can't see through it. I don't think it's a chill haze either. Um, big, big head to it. Oh, so dank with the hops. Like extreme citrusy dank hopness. There's a little mango-ish note in there. Um, tons of like juicy orange type scent. I am not smelling much of any bitterness to it. I mean, it's there, but it's just like so slight. It smells so citrusy, juicy. This is kind of what I was hoping for through this beer, um, and I'm hoping it tastes exactly the way it smells. But then we all know how that goes with a lot of beers. That's not what you get, but we'll see. Ooh, very vibrant. Oh my gosh, it is so, it is like sticky in your mouth. It's thick. You almost have to chew it so resinous i'm getting those dank hops that i was talking about it's so like orangey i'm getting a lot more bitterness in the mouth than the nose would make you think you're gonna get but it's good it's so well uh put in check mm. it's just so juicy and chewy and resinous and beautiful it's it's a vibrant imperial ipa in my opinion i really really enjoy this beer um, I'm sorry because I feel like I'm teasing people in a way because it, it's a hard one to get. Um, but if you guys can find a way to Sticky Hands by Block 15 Brewing, oh my god, <laughs> what a beer this is. Mm. I just can't stop sipping it. I get a little bit of that, if anyone's listened to the Brutal Battle podcast, which please do on iTunes and Stitcher and through my website, uh, BrutalBattle.com. I talk about getting like a little bit of like a Smarties like the, the sugar candy Smarties characteristic out of some hoppy beers. I'm getting a little bit of that out of this, and I kind of got that a little bit on the nose as well. So uh, interesting extra information. Let me see if they have any sort of tasting notes on it. Aromatic blast of luscious tropical fruits, citrus, and dank herb. I guess when I said the mango, and it did say dank. So, all right. Um, bitter finish gently propped up by pale malted barley and our privately banked brewer's yeast. Uh, and then there's a little bit of extra information. They, they use smart energy there, which if anybody knows much about Oregon, it's very plugged into the conservation ordeal and being very green and, you know, very nature friendly. So um, they're definitely doing that and they're advertising that they do that. They also have something on here that says, uh, proud to reduce our water footprint, which I know on the West Coast has been a big deal. Uh, you know, with Bear Republic, they were told that they have to cut down on their water use for beer. Uh, a lot of breweries have that kind of restriction over on the uh, West Coast, especially in California, from what I know. 
So anyway, um, thank you everyone for checking out this episode. If you have any way to try and get this beer, highly recommend it. For anyone who's a hophead, you like Imperial IPAs, killer, killer Imperial IPA right here. Uh, I am very excited to share this bottle of beer with my wife and polish it off tonight, but it'll be sad when it's gone. Thank you everyone for watching and see you next time.